Hello and welcome to our presentation of Effective Semantic Segmentation in Cataract Surgery. What matters most? My name is Claudio and you'll hear my co-first author Theodore later in the presentation. Cataract surgery scene understanding entails multiple aspects of intraoperative video analysis. On the image level, it can be about workflow phases. We might be interested in detecting tools and on the pixel level, there's semantic segmentation. Our work is concerned with the latter. Our contributions are that we present a training policy that greatly improves performance on three tasks with increasingly granular label sets and for three state-of-the-art semantic segmentation architectures. And we set the state-of-the-art on CADIS, which is a public data set in cataract surgery. The main challenge present in the CADIS dataset is the class imbalance. This can come from three separate sources. The first one is related to the sparse presence of tools during the procedure. The image shows the sporadic appearance of tools such as forceps. For most of the procedure, they are invisible, then they appear for a few frames and disappear again. Secondly, even when the tools are present in the video frame, they make up a small percentage of the number of pixels especially compared to the anatomies. Thirdly and finally, there are a number of tools that look very similar to each other, which can make it challenging to distinguish them reliably. For example, these two hand pieces in these pictures can look almost identical, but they should still be identified correctly. It follows that addressing this imbalance is a necessary element of an effective semantic segmentation solution we focused on two different approaches. The first one is adaptive sampling. The per class performance measured in the IOU metric is tracked throughout training. The current relative performance of classes is then linked to the number of mini batch images biased towards each class. In other words, the lower one class's IOU value, the more images in the next training mini batch will be biased towards selecting a frame containing more of that class label. This bias is achieved by randomly selecting 10 frames from the dataset and only keeping the one with the highest number of pixels labeled with the class of interest. The second approach is repeat factor sampling, adapted from its original usage in instance segmentation. Specifically, repeat factors are computed offline and at the class level as a decreasing function of the class occurrence frequency and aggregated at the image level. Then, each image is repeated according to its repeat factor, which is stochastically rounded before each epoch. Furthermore, we assess the importance of other factors. We experiment with the use of other loss functions and network decoders on top of a standard ResNet backbone. The LOVAS loss is a surrogate for the Jacquard index that allows us to more directly optimize for the MIOU metric used to quantify results. Our experiments demonstrate the following. For the less challenging task one, all combinations achieve comparable performance. Secondly, using the Lovas loss outperforms all other standard options, especially in task two and three, and using either adaptive sampling or repeat factor sampling provides consistent gains for both task two and three and for all network architectures considered. Our methodology using repeat factor sampling and the Lovas loss outperforms previously published results for DPLAB 3 and UPERNET, and using OCRNET sets a new overall state of the art on the CADIS dataset. Next, we find that the overall gain in performance when using either of our sampling method is a result of significant improvements over the tool and rare classes. This finding is consistent for both OCR and UPERNET in task two. The gains for both methods are even more evident on task three, which presents maximum class granularity and thus imbalance, and our method effectively addresses this challenge. Next, we show output examples of OCRNet trained with repeat factor sampling and the LOVAS loss on continuous and scene videos. All frames are processed separately. To conclude, we have presented a conceptually simple but very effective addition to the standard semantic segmentation training pipeline that improves performance across model architectures and tasks. Our code and model weights will be made publicly available.
Thank you for your attention and please check out our poster.